Okay, so, um, I do want to talk about my ambitions to be a, a writer and how my family does not, um, the majority do not approve of that. I know the Joneses and, and Baders and everybody that's holding that stance of don't, don't give her any money, this and that, don't help her, hold her down, kill her. Um, that, um, well, here's what I want to say to them. Their argument works entirely if my writing is no good. If I'm delusional and just doing what I want to do and, and there's no way that anybody could gain wisdom, because that's a good deed, that's something you want to do, that's a good calling for God, gain wisdom from or relate to or remote with, or change in some way. But anybody in the audience, if you don't think that that's true, I want you to go ahead and read, read my work, family, before because your argument works if my writing is no good. And I know you have these flippant claims that you don't seem to back that I didn't write it and this and that. You don't have evidentiary support for that. Um, you do have evidentiary support to know that I, I fucking did. Um, and I even did some of it live, you know what I mean? Yes. And, um, and posted all these poems and stuff where, like, I'd post half and go, where's the second half? Someone else wrote it, was come to come forward, where's the second half before I say it? Okay, here we go. And, um, so anyways, um, I, and then I wrote this comedy book, um, which really has nothing to do with the politics of anything to do with anything in the past seven years with the family or me. So this is a totally objective piece because I'm sure they'll hide behind, well, it's too hard for us to deal with this and that. Most of the books aren't, aren't about my family in this series. Um, only sycophant, well, okay, the three have reference to... Notes on a Revolution, Sycophant. Sycophant is all to them. <laughs> do you like the title? I do too. Um, and um, I like it because it sounds like sick owl. Yeah. Um, and then um, The Sacrifice. But the other three, you could read those. I mean, maybe that's awkward for you to read about my relationships that I have, but those are love poetry books. So, okay. Everyone but my dad should read those. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and if you guys think that it is what you see, you guys said that I was delusional to think that I had talent. So read the works and, and say it that it's delusional to think that anybody would want to buy it, that it's delusional to think that I can make any profit profit off of it, or that somebody would want to um, offer me like a book deal or something. Say those things. Say them now. Because your argument is only valid as long as those things. If, it's, if it is something that I am actually talented in, then it's not delusional. And if it is something that I could feasibly make money on, then that's not delusional. But I want you guys, in order to back your argument of why I'm the worst ever and a useless piece of shit and have no talent on all the mean things that you always say, then read it. And, and then go ahead and rip it apart. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, I want you to rip it apart. I do. Um, because I think that that's, yeah, that's how you feel. So why don't you just be honest with that? That it's not for you and not feasibly, nobody else would like it either. Really? Fascinating. It's a good theory. Let's test it out. Let's see, let's, let's test your world again. Your word against, and it's not easy for me to get any of these published. The odds are not in my favor. No, not really because of the genre and all this, but let's see if I can get any of the works published um, and paid for. That's what I'm, I'm wondering. 
and you, they like don't want me to believe in myself as a writer. They say that I'm illiterate, that I can't hold a pen, and when I hold a pen, it just explodes in my hand, and then I don't know what it is, so I just stare at it with ink all over my face for a good 34 seconds, because I'm slow. <laughs> And they say, I don't know what the alphabet is. And I'll have you know, I learned it's squiggly lines. That means something. Okay. And I learned this. And that's like super helpful now. And they say that I don't know, um, like, how to open the Word document. <laughs> I say open. I said open. Please open sesame and it just it uh, that's all I got. Open sesame. I mean what else do you sesame? Uh, sesame <laughs> I pronounce it in different ways and still and yet it doesn't open. That says me <laughs> This is how I spend my days. That says me Open that says me and still it doesn't listen. So I'm trying. When I get it I'll I'll let you know. So I want them to Oh, and then you can critique, you know, they say that I, I have no artistic talent, like, cover design. It's not my deal, but I did design all my covers, by the way. Yes, on every single piece. And the pink one is, is just a photograph. Enigma is just a photograph. There's actually been no doctoring to that. It's, I like that a lot. Um, and the rest are usually... Uh, artistic pieces that I've done and then I use the computer to help that look even better <laughs> admittedly so but that's allowed why is that not allowed people do it all the time so anyways um that's my go ahead family shred it like I know you want to tear it down and tear me down like I know you want to relish the kill and you're oh so subtle. Oh, you'd be like, well, you'll give like a co weird compliment sandwich. Like, well, it's basically incoherent, but nice try. You know, I, uh, you know, it's like <laughs> some kind of thing to save face to not look like a total dick bag. But you know, the printing, uh, uh, beautifully printed. Uh, you know, like a way to go, Kindle. <laughs> and they'd be like. Well, I see spell check was effective. <laughs> Way to go, spell check! Yeah, no. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Something. Those are the compliments. 